Right, simplify the following expressions by distributing and combining like terms. So again, we see that we have a distribution of inside we have two terms. So we're going to take the 10 and distribute to both these terms. Now when we multiply by fractions, we're going to cancel and leave factors that are left. So the 10 will cancel with the 5 in the denominator. The 5 cancels and they'll leave a factor of 2 in the numerator. So the term value would be 1 times 2 or just 2. Now we need to distribute the 10 to the next term. In this case the 10's cancel leaving just a factor of 1, right? The 10 over 10 would cancel. So 7 times 1 is 7. Okay, so we get 2 plus 7 which is 9. Alright, the next term um, we see again a distribution of 12 to two terms. Um, so we're going to take the 12 and distribute it to the 2x over 3. The 3 in the denominator will cancel with that 12, leaving a 4. So 2x times 4 is 8x. Notice I don't cancel the 12 because I'm going to be bringing that over. Again, I need to distribute to the next term. The 4 in the denominator will cancel with the 12, leaving a 3. So I have negative 7. Remember there are negative um, 1. We have basically negative 7 times 3, which is negative 21. So I cannot combine those two terms, so I'm done. All right, going on to the next. Again, we just want to keep track of our composition in these. Um, here we notice that we have, in parentheses, four terms. So we're going to distribute that 9 to all four terms. So as I distribute the 9 to the 2x over 3, the 3's cancel, leaving a factor of 3. 2x times 3 would be 6x for that term. The 9 gets distributed to the negative 2 ninths. Again, the 9 in the denominator will cancel with the 9 that we're multiplying by and it's just going to leave negative 2. Um, again, to distribute to the next term, the 9's again cancel, leaving just a factor of 1. So we would have just the negative 5x left from that term. And then finally, I need to distribute to the 1, the last term here, and there's nothing to cancel it, but I do need to multiply. 9 times 1 is 9. So the fractions are cleared, and I just have um, terms, four terms left. We can combine like terms. We have a 6x and a negative 5x. We can combine those together to have just x. And then we have negative 2 and positive 9, which is positive 7. So we get x plus 7. Okay, again, the problem looks difficult, it looks long, but as long as we separate our terms, so if you look at our separate terms, we have parentheses, and then a negative sign, so this negative sign starts a new term, and then again we have another set of parentheses, and then another negative sign that starts another new term. So here we have three terms, in each of the terms we have a distribution. So the first term, the 16, gets distributed to two terms. So as I distribute, again, the 8 in the denominator will cancel with the 16, leaving a factor of 2. So I have 3 times 2 times y, which is 6y. So then we need to distribute the 16 to the 3 fourths. The 4 in the denominator will cancel, leaving a factor of 4. So I'd have 4 times 3, which is positive 12. My next term would be plus 12. All right, so the middle term that starts with this negative sign is parentheses. There's no fractions, but I still need to distribute a negative 1. So this negative sign is like a factor of negative 1, and I need to distribute to each of the terms negative 1 times 4y is negative 4y and negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. 
and then finally the last term that begins with the negative 18, that negative 18 is going to get distributed to both of these terms. When I distribute to the negative 5 over y, we can think of the 9 canceling with the 18, leaving a factor of 2, and then the negative times negative is positive, so basically that cancels or becomes positive. So I got 5 times 2 times y, which is a positive 10y. So the next term, again distributing negative 18 to the 3, and the denominator will cancel, leaving a negative 6. So I have 2 times negative 6, which is negative 12. So again, in this case, every fraction canceled, every denominator canceled, because we were multiplying by a factor that will cancel. So we're left with just terms. We have common terms. We have y terms. So we have 6y and negative 4y and 10y. So 6y and negative 4y is 2y. And then 2y and positive 10y is 12y. So then the constants, we have a positive 12, a positive 5, and a negative 12. So the tw positive 12 and negative 12 will zero out, leaving just plus 5. So we get 12y plus 5. Again, it doesn't matter how big the problem is, as long as we keep our problem structure, keep our terms aligned, um, and then again, slowly work through. All right.